Alright, welcome back to Spain's Kitchen Diaries. On this episode, back by popular demand, is Velveeta Skillets. In this episode, we're gonna do Chicken Bacon Ranch. Alright, let's see what we gotta do. What you'll need. One pound of boneless, skinless chicken breast, which I'm gonna be cooking boneless chicken thighs because that's just what I had in the fridge. So we'll cut the chicken into bite-sized pieces. We will then cook and stir the chicken breasts thighs into a large nonstick skillet until done. Then we'll add two cups of water, the pasta, the seasoning, we'll stir it, we'll bring it to a boil, reduce heat, we'll cover and simmer for about 10 to 12 minutes or until most of the water is gone. Stirring frequently, remove from heat. Then we'll stir in the liquid gold Velveeta cheese sauce. Then we'll sprinkle it with a little bit of bacon. Now that we know how to do it, let's do it. All right, first things first is we gotta dice up an onion. I use onion in just about everything I cook. If you watched my videos, you know I do. So here we go, let's do it. All right, that didn't take long. That's about half of an onion. I'm not gonna use all of it. All right, guys, we got the chicken all cubed up. First thing I'm gonna do, get my skillet warmed up. A little over 350. So yeah, this electric skillet, I got it probably six months ago, and it was, the Teflon on it was excellent. Nothing would stick to it. So I made, uh, I made smash burgers, and I didn't have grease on it, and I made my patties, smashed my patties down, burnt the crap out of my skillet. Now I gotta spray it down every time. So I layered it with just a spray and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit of olive oil, a little more olive oil I should say. Fry our chicken. That should be good enough. All right, got the chicken in there. I went ahead and took it back to about 350. We're gonna season it with garlic salt. This is Lowry garlic salt. And a little bit of black pepper. I'm going to wait to uh, put my onion in to let it run. I went ahead and tore into this. I thought I had the camera on, but I didn't. So we got the macaroni, the liquid gold, our soft mix, and bacon mix. We are cooking now. I think I might go ahead and throw my onion in there. And it might be a lot of onion, but you know what? That's all right. Give it a little stir. Now with chicken, we just gotta make sure we get that cooked really good. It needs to be internal temperature of 165. Since we have it cut into bite-sized pieces, it shouldn't take too long. So. But we'll cook it just a little bit longer. I might actually cover it up, let it steam a little bit. All right, let's give it a check. Okay. Oh yeah, getting some nice browning going on there. Yeah, see how it's sticking in my pan there? I messed my pan up. And we're getting our onion nice, getting a nice color to it. We don't want to burn our onion up. I'm going to let it go just for a few more minutes. All right, I think we're good. Now our next step is... Add two cups of water, pasta, and the seasoning. And what I like to do, I know I've showed you guys this in my other two Velveeta skillet episodes. I like to get hot water from the microwave. And I just so happen to have two cups of water. Look at that. Pour it in there. All right. Get our sauce mix. Man, I wish you guys could smell this chicken. Smell that garlic, onion. It just smells really good. So yeah, see those lumps in there? That's why I like to, that's why I like to go ahead and just mix it up. That way we know every bit of it is dissolved. 
and good to go. Get this heat back up to eh, about 325. Let me try that. All right, I'm going to pour my Sauce mix, macaroni, and we got to bring it to a boil, and then we've got to reduce the heat, and we got to cover it and simmer for 10 to 12 minutes. I might actually, I might turn it to about 375 since we're trying to get it to a boil. That would probably make a little more sense. Looks like we're boiling. I might give it a little stir. I'm gonna try to get some of the stuff that cooked on the bottom of it. Brown chicken and onion. That way we get all that flavor mixed in. All right, I will see you guys in 10 to 12 minutes. It does say on here, it says to stir frequently. All right, we're about at the midway point. I'm gonna. I'm going to give it a little stir, make sure the noodles aren't sticking to the bottom of it. I might turn this down just a little bit. I'm at about almost, well, a little over 250 right now. I might have a little hot. I think we'll turn it down to 250. A little bit below 250. How about that? Let's try that. Looks like the noodles are softening up. All right, let's give it a few more minutes. All right, we made it. It's been 12 minutes. I got my heat off. Let's go to our instructions. Okay, it says remove from the heat. Hey, remove from the heat. I did that. I didn't remove it, but I turned it off. Still the same thing, isn't it? <laughs> All right, now we're gonna stir in the, they call it the velveted cheese sauce, but I call it the liquid gold. All right, let's do it. Before I put the liquid gold in, I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper in it. Just a little bit, uh-huh. That piece of chicken got a lot of pepper on it. The liquid gold. All right, here we go. Ooh, that just looks really nice, Tom. <laughs> All right, let's stir it in. I thought the sauce was gonna be more of a white sauce, but it looks like it's yellow. Now I'm gonna transfer it, and we'll do the last part, which is the baking bits. And then finally, we will do the taste test. The bacon bits. Ooh, oh, almost lost a bacon bit. All right. Does that look like something you guys could eat? Moment of truth, we've been waiting for this. I'm gonna get a spoonful with some bacon bits all over it. Let's see how good Velveeta did. And us. Mm. Woo, that was good. That was great. Thank you for uh, being with me on this episode of Spain's Kitchen Diaries. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more.